Welcome to the Daily Mass from St. Mary's Parish in Barrie, Ontario, for Monday, April the 20th, Monday in the second week of Easter. The long gates way. Let all the earth rejoice and say, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we uh, pray together, uh, virtually and apart, but united in spirit, we continue our Easter journey as we experience the presence of the risen Lord. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call upon God's mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are the resurrection and the life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you nourish us in word and sacrament. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, we long for your return in glory at the end of time. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we, who have been renewed by paschal remedies, transcending the likeness of our earthly parentage, may be transformed in the image of our heavenly Maker. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. This morning we remember the souls of John Poirier and Lawrence Rowett. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Peter and John were released by the rulers and elders, they went to their friends and reported what the chief priests and the, elder, and the elders had said to them. When their companions heard it, they raised their voices together to God and said, Sovereign Lord, who made the heaven and the earth, the sea and everything in them, it is you who said by the Holy Spirit, through our ancestor David, your servant, why did the Gentiles rage and the peoples imagine vain things? The kings of the earth took their stand and the rulers have gathered together against the Lord and against his Messiah. For in this city, in fact, both Herod and Pontius Pilate with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel gathered together against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed to do whatever your hand and your plan had predestined to take place. And now, Lord, look at their heart, look at their threats, and grant to your servants to speak your word with all boldness, 
while you stretch out your hand to heal, and signs and wonders are performed through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. When they had prayed, the place in which they were gathered together was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God with boldness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Happy are all who put their trust in the Lord. Happy are all who put their trust in the Lord. Why do the nations conspire and the peoples plot in vain? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and his anointed, saying, Let us burst their bonds asunder and cast their cords from us. Happy are all who put their trust in the Lord. He who sits in the heavens laughs. The Lord has them in derision. Then he will speak to them in his wrath and terrify them in his fury, saying, I have set my king on Zion, my holy hill. Happy are all who put their trust in the Lord. I will tell of the decree of the Lord. He said to me, You are my son. Today I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will make the nations your heritage, and the ends of the earth your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron, and dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Happy are all who put their trust in the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Now there was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a leader of the Jews. He came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do apart from the presence of God. Jesus answered him, very truly, I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God without being born from above. Nicodemus said to him, How can anyone be born after having grown old? Can one enter a second time into the mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Very truly, I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and spirit. What is born of the flesh is flesh, and what is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not be astonished that I said to you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it chooses, and you hear the sound of it. But you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
during this lockdown, we don't see other people as often. And when we have the chance to meet them or call them, one of the questions we ask, what keep you busy these days? And many good answers. Spending time with family, deepening our prayer life, staying safe, and so on. And most of the people say they're able to do some cleaning or doing a general cleaning in their house, getting rid of stuff. It could be clothing or objects, and by doing it, they have lesser things. It simplifies life. And in the gospel today, there is an invitation from Jesus to us that most importantly, what we need to do is to also do some inner house cleaning. As he told Nicodemus that most likely we need to get rid of our destructive attitudes or habits or attachment that destroys our life in our relationship. In the gospel that we hear today, Jesus meets Nicodemus, a Pharisee, a well-known religious leader, a wealthy Jewish rabbi, and he was also a member of the Sanhedrin. And no one would think that he needs to reset his life. So he met Jesus, he met with Jesus at night in the darkness, maybe because of fear with the other Pharisees. And Jesus gave him the light of the darkness of the night. Jesus told him that he needed to be born again of water and the Holy Spirit through baptism. Jesus further told him and explained to him that his followers have two births, two births, a physical birth from one's mother as her child and a supernatural birth from God through baptism as God's child, a member of God's family in the church and an heir of heaven. The supernatural birth is possible only when one is baptized into Christ and in that baptism receives the Holy Spirit. Jesus is like telling Nicodemus to do a total revamp of his life from darkness to light, to do an inner house cleaning, to get rid of attachments. And he only need to attach Jesus, to attach to Jesus for his salvation. And for us Christians to remember that rebirth by water and the Holy Spirit is a continuous process. And hopefully, living with Christ and guided by the Lord, we only need to attach to Him for our eternal salvation. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for it is through your goodness that we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for it is through your goodness that we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed God. God. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Father, the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, power, and the, the glory, glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the risen Lord who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by the way we live our lives. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God.
Praise we in songs of victory, that love, that life which cannot die, and sing with hearts uplifted high. Alleluia, Alleluia. 